Hi, I'm Hazel, and today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to share an old war lockout with your own alts by yourself, no extra accounts or friends needed. The idea here is that we can skip right to Yogg-Saron and kill him for a chance at the Mimiron's head mount without needing to re-clear the raid for every new alt. A quick note before we dig in, as of 735, you can no longer choose between 10 and 25 man Ulduar. The raid will scale to and show as 10 man due to your single player comp, but the mount does still have a chance to drop. Don't stress about the little 10 up here by your map, and I wouldn't worry about specifically converting to raid either. There's only one version of the instance now. So to set up, we need a lockout character. Pick an alt and clear the raid up to, but not including Yogg. This character will never kill Yogg. The nice thing about this is that you only need to clear the raid once. If you're unfamiliar with Ulduar, you'll need to take out Flame Leviathan, you can just run up there and solo him without vehicles, and then XT. Go inside and kill Kolagarn, and then do a lap of this ring to kill all the keepers? Don't talk to any of them. Head this way to kill Memoron, and then this way to kill Vezax, and then stop. Do not kill Yogg-Saron. Take that character and go home. I use my bank alt mage to hold my lockout, so she lives in Stormwind. Setup part 2 is taking the characters that you want to mount farm on and moving them near Ulduar. I recommend parking them and even setting their hearthstones to Boulder Crag's refuge over here. It's a neutral inn, there's a flight point and a mailbox, and it's close enough to Ulduar for our plan. Any alts that you have at level 100 or higher will do great. Next, it's time for the mount run. Step 1. Get on your lockout tune. If it's the first run of the week, double check your lockout. Press O for social, and then the raid tab at the bottom, raid info at the top right, and you should see your Ulduar lockout. You can click it and extend or reactivate as needed. With that out of the way for the week, create a custom group in the group finder. Step 2, log on to your first mount running tune, and staying in the inn, apply for the group. For step 3, we log back onto the lockout tune and accept our application. For step 4, log back onto the Mount Run tune, fly to Ulduar, and enter the raid before Leader passes over. You've got plenty of time to fly there, but don't dilly-dally. Now that you're inside, just run to the portal, port to the prison of yogg saron and kill Yogg. If you're new to that, you want to kill adds on top of the lady, and then tentacles, and then go in the portal and kill spooky things, and then the brain, and then it spits you out and you can kill Yogg. Loot your shot at the mount, and then it's time to hearth out and leave the group in no particular order. And that's it. Rinse and repeat. I do end up remaking the group every time. This method is a lot of logging in and out, but it still beats re-clearing Ulduar. If I'm paying attention, I can do my mount runs at about 5 minutes per character. I will grant you this is very loading screen heavy. If loading screens tend to be an issue for you, I did a video on ways that you can reduce that, so I will link that down below. These days, a lot of it comes down to having WoW installed on the fastest SSD you can get your hands on. And while I'm recommending stuff, the rarity add-on can help you keep track of exactly how much disappointment you've been through. Thanks for watching, good luck on Mim's Head, stop by a Tuesday stream to join me and my disappointment, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!